Sam Saul plays it diagonally into the corner. Heptich will have an opportunity. Gadet was interfered. Will be a penalty and a great chance. And is it in? The referee was right there. Are we going upstairs again? We may be. Well, they're celebrating like it went the net. That's the deke. I think that's the monk and deke right there. They're trying to buy themselves a goal. In a game this big, why not? Well, Samson working so hard behind the net, puts on the brakes, and then comes out the same side, and that puck is in the net. Tight without game. a doubt. Godet, watch it slip in. Look at this, look at the stick right there. It goes by the stick, and you see the back, and you see Derek Jardin reach back. That's a goal, ladies and gentlemen. This game is about to be even. Christian Godet with his first of this MasterCard Memorial Cup. Been Munkin's best line in this game. Samson has been so effective for Ted Nolan's Wildcats here tonight. He puts on the brakes. Now Desjardins is about to look back, but stays on that same side of the net. And once he reaches back, you know what that means. He's admitting guilt. Patrick Waugh looking on, waiting for the call. And without a doubt, this will be called a goal. Kyle Raymond still on the phone upstairs to the video goal judge. Here's another look. Watch for the net to move. Off his pad and in. You can see the puck very clearly there. We're tied again, this time at two. The captain, Christian Godet. That play all started because of a diagonal corner dumping. With a beautiful play by Samson. He gained the line and bounced it off of the corner boards. It came right back out to Heftich, and from there, Munkin was able to pin Quebec in their own zone. And you alluded to it, Sam. That line is just far and away the best, and they have been rewarded not once, but now twice. And isn't it interesting in big games how a lot of times it's the grinders, the guys who are willing to get dirty, Everywhere. Not to say a lot of the top guys in this game aren't, but oh my goodness, is that line answered the bell for the hometown Wildcats.